grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, dear brothers and sisters. Today Jesus calls us to reflect of our internal acts that lead us for external crime. The law of God, especially Torah, have defined very well the acts of human being and as it has also defined itself the other extensions of law to control human being, especially the external acts of human beings like murder, killing, stealing, so on and so forth. But the new law put forward by Jesus Christ reaches down to the innermost part of human being. And that was the new spirit of the law. And that was the new spirit of Christian life. So Jesus says, if anyone harbors in one's heart certain anger or some grievance and if a word that comes out of this harboring that to be a thing that wounds a person is accountable before the tribunal. The accountable before the tribunal deserves a kind of punishment. The punishment is spiritual order that is hell of fire. So if one harbors in oneself certain grievance for longer days, and goes on, sits in that grievance and thinks about the grievance, thereby the evil acts breed from that grievance. The evil acts like murder, killing, stealing, all these that come out of the inner acts of human being. That's why Jesus says, the very inner act of harboring was itself is a crime, was itself deserves punishment. So dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, as, to the, as Christians, disciples following the words of Jesus Christ, let us think of our hearts. How do we harbor our grievance? How do we harbor evil thoughts in our minds? The very fact of harboring evil thoughts in one's mind and heart is itself accountable for punishment. That's why the word of God goes on if any of you comes to the temple for offering and on the way if one realizes that he has some kind of grievance against his brother, his offering is not acceptable and he doesn't deserve to offer the offerings. Rather, he must go back to his house and make a forgiveness of sins, make reconciliation with his brother, then his offering would be acceptable. So the internal act of one's mind inside, inside thinking was itself accountable for punishment. So dear brothers and sisters, 
let us meditate upon today's reading very deeply how our internal minds are moving how we move about in our world outwardly we look very beautiful very gentle very kind but internally we are much crude much cruel and we are much like terrorist inside so let us think a while allow jesus to go inside our heart and touch the wounded feelings there the harboring is going on the harboring of evil things against other person is going on that is allow jesus to touch and heal so that we may have a life that is great heavenly father we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have shown thank you lord for this beautiful day continue to bless us help us to understand and meticulously think of our thoughts that's inside how it kills our mind and heart and finally it leads us to kill the hearts of many persons around us help us lord to realize our weakness so that what we do what we do against the brotherly love may be may be brought us to the great punishment help us to realize this and be with us lord we ask this through christ our lord amen